Anyway, we make Shakespeare, it's great English culture, so we make Shakespeare, okay, but I'm doing vo both voices, you can't be Julie yet, you can't be Julie yet, yet, because you don't know the part yet, so you can't be Julie yet, yet, okay, if you want to be Julie, you have to wait, until I first do the Julie, then you do the Julie second time, okay? Okay. Okay, right, so we got a big... Shakespeare's complete voice and what you're doing? <laughs> Not of this, got to be serious about it. This is culture, this is big culture. Okay? And I'm on pay Oh, I got the dust in my eyes from it. I got um, 788 page. It's on the 788 page of this edition of Shakespeare's complete voice. The Cambridge text, so it must be good. And if Are you being <laughs> stupid behind my backs? Okay, look, I'm not going to do it if you're going to do this. Okay, now listen, first you listen, then if you want to be Julie, you have to listen. I'm do proper act two, scene two. Balcony scene, he's sitting on the on the um, uh, pavement, looking up at the window. She goes out onto balcony, she hasn't got big balcony like mine, she's got balcony like people up there. Got. And she goes out onto it, sits on a deck chair, and starts to go on and on about him while he's listening you see it's a big coincidence he's there at the same time anyway <coughs> I'm doing Romeo in deep voice like a kind of manly voice and a Juliet I'm doing in a lady's voice so scene two he jests at scars that never felt a wound Juliet appears aloft at the window but soft what light through yonder window breaks Oh, no, she's not saying it, he is. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks. It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief that thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious, her vestal livery is but sick and green, and none but fools do wear it, cast it off. It is my lady, oh, it is my love, oh, that she knew she were. She speaks, yet she says nothing, what of that? Her eye discourses, I will answer it. I am too bold, it is not to me she speaks. Two of the fairest stars in all the heaven, having some business to entreat her eyes to twinkle in their spheres till they return. What if her eyes were there, they in her head? The brightness, what you doing? The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars as daylight does a lamp. Her eyes in heaven would through the airy region stream so bright that birds would sing and think it was not night. See how she leans her cheek upon her hand, like this, that I might touch that cheek. A little bit of cheeky thinking on this part there. Ay me! She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel, for thou art as glorious to this night, being o'er my head. As is a winged messenger of heaven unto the white upturned wandering eyes of mortals that fall back to gaze on him when he bestrides the lazy passing clouds and sails upon the bosom of the air. O oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? Tis but thy name that is my enemy, 
Thou art thyself, though not a Montague, nor be some other name. What's Montague? It is not hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any part belonging to a man. What's in a name? That what we call a rose, by any other name, will smell the sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo cold, retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, doff thy name, and for thy name which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I will be new baptized. Henceforth I never will be Romeo. What man art thou that thus be screened in night so stumblest on my counsel? By a name I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself, because it is an enemy to thee. Had I it written, I would tear the view. Okay, 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 what? Look, you've been sensible now. Because we're going to now, we heard me do the first time. You can be... What are you doing? Please don't have stupid expression on face. Could have intelligent expression like this. Okay? That's better. Anyway. You're going to be Julie. No, 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 no. What you do? Look. You trying to amuse me. But look. <coughs> okay. Get a big breath, come on. <laughs> okay, now get ready to... to um, I, I do this, and when I talk about touching the cheek, that's when you go, I, me, okay? And then when I talk about the bosom of the ear, you go, oh, Romeo, Romeo, okay? You read this. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay? You heard me do it early, so you know how to do. Okay, so I'll just take it. See how she leans her cheek upon her hand oh that I wore a glove upon that hand that I might touch that cheek <laughs> go on it's there she speaks oh speak again bright angel for thou art as glorious to this night being o'er my head as is a winged messenger of heaven unto the white upturned wandering eyes of mortals that fall back to gaze on him when he bestrides the lazy passing clouds and sails upon the bosom of the air. Now you. Oh, Romeo. Not Romeo. It's not a car. His name is Romeo. It's not a Alfa Romeo. No, no, no. Not a Romeo. Oh, Romeo. Romeo. Come on. Oh, Romeo. Oh, Romeo. Where are... Art fro Wherefore art thou? Wherefore art thou Romeo? Come on. Romeo. Danny. Danny. Not Danny. <laughs> it's not Danny Moore. Deny. Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Say. Deny the father and refuse the name. Or if thou wilt not. If or uh, if other uh, will not be but be sworn my love. Be but sworn my love. And I'll no longer be capulet. And I longer No longer. I and I'll no longer be a capulet. Okay, I got to make an aside that's where I talk to the audience, but you can't hear it. Shall I hear more or shall I speak at this? Now you carry on here. This by the name that is my enemy. Uh, enemy, get in the shot. You're out of shot. Look, you've got to stay in shot. It's like you walk off the side of the stage. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. A montage. Not a montage. <laughs> this is not montage. This is not a photo montage. This is a mo Romeo and Juliet. Look, Montague. 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 That's his surname, Montague, Romeo Montague, okay? Um, Not Romeo Montage. Okay. Or be some other name. What's Montague? Come on. It is not. Come on. What isn't it? It is not a hand. 
Not a foot. You'll never get that in shot. Nor arm. Nor face. Nor any part belonging to a man. Not doing that. Um, what's in a name? Okay, this is very, very big thought. What's in a name? Come on, you say this. What's? What? What? No, you say it properly. <laughs> I'm doing the Russian accent. What in a name? Okay, that. That we we call a rose. Mm -hmm. By an other name. Any other name? By any by, other. By any other name would smell a a sweet. So Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo would. So Romeo would, him, were he no, no, not Ro Romeo called R return that dear prof profession. Okay. You didn't listen when I said said it. Uh, listen to me now, okay? What's in the name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Okay? That's what? the sentence. Okay? So, retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, come on. Doff. Rome Romeo doff the name. Thy name. Thy name. It means yours name in Old English. Do Romeo doff thy name and... And for the name which is no part of the... Three. The, 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 it's all for you. The, take on myself. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love and I'll be new baptized. Mm. He will become, even ready to become a Baptist or Seventh day Adventist or something like that for her. Mm. It's a very big step. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. What, what man are... True. Art thou? Thou that? Thus. Thus be, be screened. Bas, thus be screened in night. In night. So, some blessed. Oh, so stumblest. Stumblest. On my counsel. By a name I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself because it is an enemy to thee. Had I it written, I would tear the word right up into little pieces and scatter it on the floor. My, my, my ears have yet not drunk a hundred words mm -hmm. of, of the, the, uh, thy to tongues, tongues uttering. uttering. Of thy tongues uttering. That means what you said. You bless you yet I yet I know y yet I know the sound at so art thou not thou not Rome, Romeo and, and a montage a montague not a montage a montague a montague neither fair maid if either thee dislike how ca camest? How camest thou hither? How camest thou hither? In tell me. Tell and me and uh, uh, wh wherefore? That wherefore means why you came. The or or orchard that are high. The orchard walls are high and hard to climb. Oi oi oi! <laughs> Too much dust in this old book. The orchard walls are high. Come on, get into short. Come on, come on, come high on. High and uh, hard to climb. And? And the place, the considering who thou art, thou art, if uh, any of my kinsmen, kinsmen, kinsmen find the hair, the hair, the hair. With love's light wings did I or perish these walls. For stony limits cannot hold love out. And what love can do that dares love attempt? Therefore thy kinsmen are no stop to me. Okay, that's enough. Well done. Excellent. It's a nice little piece <coughs> that people will 
get a sample of the correct way to teaching Shakespeare's to nine-year-old young lady, some culture from England. And thank you for this very much, and enjoy the show. Bye-bye.